Hello, I'm Dave. Welcome to my Technical Notes channel. If you run your projects on battery power, there are some techniques that you can employ to reduce the total power consumption. So these hints and tips are, re are really aimed at a CPU that spends a lot of its time in wake and sleep cycles. And the longer it's awake, the more power it consumes. So reducing the on time is critical. So the first tip is to only turn on the Wi-Fi when you need it. So don't routinely set it on when you go through the setup routine. Turn it on just before it's needed. And then when you finish, turn it off. That makes a significant difference in power consumption. And there's some examples there for the ESP8266. The ESP32 are broadly the same. And tip two is to reduce delay times to zero or remove them completely. But just making them shorter reduces the amount of CPU time consumed on battery. And in most cases, they're not required. They are for diagnostic purposes, for, but not for general operation unless you're interacting with uh, some external hardware. The next tip is to increase your resistance values. If you've got a voltage divided to monitor battery voltage, don't use very low values. So on the left hand side, I've used 1K resistors to divide the voltage in two. But that puts a permanent load on the battery of two milliamps. Whereas if you use two larger values, again, giving you the same voltage division, the current consumption is dramatically reduced. So if you're into getting every last milliampere hour reduction or improvement, use as high values as practicable. And in both cases, I've assumed there's no current flow into the ADC input, but in practice there is, but it's usually very small. And this tip is only turn on GPIO pin outputs when required. So leave them as inputs until you just need to use them. But it, a lot depends on your external circuitry. A GPIO pin will either source or sync current and consume power from the battery. So don't turn it on until it's absolutely necessary to be used. So just before and then switch it back to an input just after you've used it. In this tip, just changing the serial speed, the board rate of the serial port can make a big difference in time consumed by the program. So on the left hand side, it's a simple program to print hello world and temperature, whatever. And that takes approximately 30 milliseconds to complete. Each serial character takes the board rate times 10 bits to complete so um, but on the right hand side if you improve the sp serial speed to this case I've used 15200 board exactly the same function takes a fraction of the time so it's 30 milliseconds saved but it's 30 milliseconds of battery power that you've saved when again when you're trying to get the absolute maximum from your battery life There's a in the IDE, there's a function called show timestamp, which I pointed to there. So switch it on and monitor the time. It's the what's displayed is the time of arrival of any characters from the serial port. And that's a useful function to monitor program progress and where if you put diagnostic prints in where each part of the program is uh, taking time and if you're on battery power your aim is to reduce that down to a shorter possible time. In summary then some fairly basic simple common sense tips hints and tips to reduce battery power or consumption when on battery turning that Wi-Fi on only just before you need to get some time or 
send data to a web server or receive data from a web server or, or a cloud service and turn it off as soon as you finish with it. Remove or reduce all of your delays. Increase resistor values across your whole design to as high as is practicable. Only switch your GPIO pins to output when needed or when your loads require it. Don't use slow serial port speeds. It just consumes time doing nothing. And use the IDE facilities to, to assess program runtime and optimise that for the shortest possible time. And most of these hints and tips can all be done in software. It's just a different way of approaching the problem. So I hope you found these useful. I hope you found this technical note interesting and useful. 